Do you think it is time now or soon in the future that the U.S. government, Congress will give some sort of recognition to the NFSC to recognize our efforts to take down the CCP and expose them? Well, you have to always make sure that what we're doing right now is very strategic and it's not going to affect our interests. But we have to always support, you know, the United States is always claiming that we're going to support democracy. We're going to support people who are opposing tyrannical regimes, like what we're doing in Ukraine, for instance. So we have to make, if we're going to have that standard that we claim that we're having, we have to make sure it's applied across the board. And especially with a regime like China, what they did to their own citizens by locking them in, you know, literally putting, uh, locking them into their houses, not making them be able to leave. I and mean, I was just in Southeast Asia a few months ago, and you see, I mean, some Chinese people are, they're, they're still not allowed to leave China. And you're seeing the, the flight of money leaving China right now because they recognize, I mean, that's, remember the uprising that was happening. That would have been a great opportunity for the United States to be able to support this movement in order to take advantage and to capitalize and promote the freedom that we, we, we supposedly support right now. Peace.